Are you looking for the best multi-tool in your budget? Well in today's video we break down the top 5 best multi-tool that are available on the market. I made this list based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about this product, you can check out the description below and also make sure you subscribe for more reviews. Okay so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Gerber Gerber Sender Drive Multi-Tool. Gerber set out to solve two main issues with multi-tool screwdrivers, being too short to reach into tight spaces, and the off-center driver making turning screws a bit harder. The center drive was the company's answer. It has a 3 inches hex bit driver, which, when folded out, aligns with the center of the tool, making spinning the tool easier and preventing the frame from banging into the side of whatever you're working on with every revolution. If you have to screw or drive fasteners often, you'll love this feature. While there's a bit holder in the tool, the sheath has a separate pouch to hold extra bits. The other unusual feature is the slide-out pliers, with replaceable three-sided blades for the wire cutter. We did notice a little play in the pliers and sliding mechanism. We had to knock it a little for that, but the pliers, cutters, and wire stripper did work well enough. Both plain and serrated knife blades were quite sharp and capable of carving and cutting into wood and branches. The bottle opener was effective, although it did cut into the cap a little due to its slim width other than the plain knife and driver. The other tools require sliding open the pliers and pulling them out from between the handles, which is awkward at times. The included sheath facilitates slipping the sender drive over a belt or through a backpack strap. Up next in the fourth place is the Leatherman Leatherman Free P2 Multi-Tool. The Free P2 is built with tight tolerances, evident in its smooth opening and closing action. You can open it with one hand, and it makes a gratifying click as the handle locks in place. A nice feature of the P2 is tool accessibility. All of the implements are accessible without opening the pliers. In fact, the only reason to open the tool is to use the pliers. We rated the pliers, with their tight pivot, strong grip, and replaceable wire cutting blades, 4.5 out of 5. The wire stripper, included on the medium screwdriver, only really worked on wire of a specific size. However, the notch for hard wire worked well up to 12 gauge. A typical gripe of ours with can openers is that a wide tool frame can interfere with the can. But on the P2, the opener is the last tool on the row, so it's perfectly positioned for clearance. The scissors cut well and were easy to manipulate while snipping intricate shapes, while the combination plain, serrated knife blade was extremely sharp. Three flat screwdrivers were adequate, with the largest being made of thicker material to resist twisting. The Phillips screwdriver is good on a wide range of sizes, and its flat stock folds into the tool frame smoothly. The third product on our list is the SOG SOG Powerlock Multi-Tool. The SOG Powerlock features a clean, smooth design with rounded edges and tool frame covers. We were able to open it with one hand and found it very comfortable to hold. The 18 tools to choose from include 5 for fasteners, 3 sizes of flat screwdrivers, 1 Phillips screwdriver and a quarter of an inches square drive to accept sockets. The a quarter of an inches driver can be oriented 90 degrees from the tool body for more leverage, but the frame cover has to be popped off to use it this way. The power lock has true needle nose pliers machined down to a nice point, the jaws of which meet very tightly and accurately, making it easy to grip small things. The wire cutter and stripper also work very well, earning a 4.75 overall for the pliers. Most of the other tools performed up to snuff, with the bottle opener, can opener, all, scissors, and ruler all scoring four. The partially serrated knife was very sharp and cut through several materials easily. The saw blade was a surprise. Its aggressive teeth made quick work of maple tree branches. We liked the simple-to-operate locking system, although fishing the tools out from under the frame cover was occasionally awkward. The power lock comes with a sewn nylon sheath that can clip on your belt while you're wearing it, as opposed to being strung on your belt as you put it on. Second on our list is the Gerber Gear Truss Multi-Tool. The Gerber Truss is a burly multi-tool, thicker and wider than many others. Because of that, this isn't a tool to slip in a pocket. We appreciated the nylon sheath for carrying it on a belt or a pack strap. It was initially a little tight too before we broke it in, but we didn't mind. It's preferable to a tool that's too loose. Security comes from the very strong magnets that keep the truss closed, which is useful if you prefer to hang it on a lanyard through the dedicated hole on one end. And we liked the two-sided lock release and quickly became adept at pulling it down with our thumb and index fingers. As with several other models here, all of the tools, except the pliers, are accessible from the outside of the tool frame, which we always appreciate. In use, the handles open, snap securely into place, and make for a very sturdy feeling pliers with spring-loaded jaws that open easily on their own. 
In testing, we liked how the grip facilitated manipulating wires as we were making electrical connections. The truss has an anvil style wire cutter rather than a bypass, so the cutting surfaces meet at the point when the pliers close. This forces the wire apart rather than shearing through it, which doesn't cut as cleanly but is stronger and works better on hard wire. The three sizes of flat screwdrivers worked well, covering the range of screws we encountered while taking apart the carburetor. We noticed the one Phillips driver had crisp edges that engaged well in screws both smaller and larger than it was intended for. Both the serrated knife blade and the saw were very sharp, and between the two easily cut the string, twine, rope, saplings, and wood. The cannon bottle openers both performed well, and with the scissors, despite their small size, we were able to cut out intricate shapes from paper and light cardboard. Finally, the top product on our list is the Victorinox Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit X Multi-Tool. Fresh out of the box, the Swiss Tool Spirit X impressed us with its fit and finish. The tools are packed into the frame very closely, like scientific instrumentation. All the tools, save one, deploy from the outside of the frame. You need to open the Swiss Tool only to use the pliers, which eliminates wasted time fiddling with opening and closing it repeatedly if Victorinox had placed the 22 tools, functions on the inside. For the record, the company claims 24, but one is a coupling for a corkscrew that doesn't come included with this model, and the other is a point to connect a lanyard. We're not faulting Victorinox for this, though, because the tool is still great without counting those. While the needle nose pliers with wire cutters, scissors, standard screwdrivers, and the can opener were good, it was the other tools that really impressed us. This is the first multi we've tested that has a metal saw. The teeth run along the edge of the file, so we didn't expect much, but it cut through mild steel hardware surprisingly well. And the file itself did a nice job cleaning up the edges when we were done. The Phillips screwdriver shank flares out at the end, so that all four points on the head are the same size, making for very solid engagement. The wire stripper and scraper both work effectively. Although we usually resort to using wire cutters as strippers, this open-sided notch, when used as a stripper, is sharp enough to quickly spin around a wire and pull back the insulation. The Spirit X's bottle opener is made from wider stainless steel stock, which keeps it flatter on a bottle cap, helps it engage more securely, and makes it less likely that the tip cuts into the cap. The combination reamer punch efficiently opens up holes in wood, leather, and soft metals, and is capable of drilling holes through three quarters of an inch's pine board. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now, I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time.